we've started, gosh, over five years ago now, with really rebuilding all of our back-end systems. And, and so that's some folks that we've hired, some folks that we've contracted from other firms that are bringing those systems in because we had to rebuild all of our back-end core you know, systems. And, and then in the recent couple of years, we've started to match that with our front-end systems and markets like you know, like China have kind of led the way of what the front end needs to look like. And, and so, you know, that's been a major effort for at least five years has been trying to move from where we were with technology to where we needed to be. And, and it's not, not easy when you're trying to operate. And, <laughs> and we do time. have we do have people internally, but we partner a lot too with yeah. other tech companies because I mean they're they're the they're the groups that are at the forefront and they're gonna keep keep current with everything that's going on. It's better for us sometimes to attach to a different groups like that and partner with them because then we'll have the, the technology that's right right up front where everybody's using. Yeah. So yeah. as as the the generations begin to shift and use different media in different ways, we're kind of right there with them. Yeah, yeah and it doesn't necessarily have a, as Steve said, doesn't necessarily have a correlation to us hiring more people to do it. It's us partnering with more and, and, and how probably shifting how we think about it because we, you know, I guess traditionally you would do everything internally ourselves and now we're saying, well, there's so many similarities to other businesses in, in the e-commerce space. We can really learn and apply it and, and use it to, to get there. The great thing for us, though, from a performance standpoint, if you look at it, I mean, it's not it's not like it's a, a. It's not so much global as it is one or two markets that have really hit us. Impacted. China's hit us the last few yeah. years, and but where where we are now, we we see us kind of bottoming and beginning to come up because even the second part of the year, we've seen growth in the second part of the year. So our expectations for the year that we're in are going to be are positive. We're turning we're, back to growth. We're turning back to growth this year. We look at at that shift and. And so we're, we're very confident kind of in, in the future and where that's going. And we've already seen that begin to happen in the, the last half of, of last year. Yeah. And, and, and we just, on, on the shift side, you saw us, you know, we, we did a lot of investments previously in manufacturing. You know, so we did a lot of that sort of thing. So as time went on, so that piece is in place. So now you can shift it to, you know, to the technology, technology. side too.